If you are thinking that by the end of this year nothing spectacular is going to happen, well, <laughs> lucky you, there are some new things coming. So hold your Black Friday deal money in your pocket because Evelsen is going to hit the market very quickly. Right here on Zachary's 3D Print. So stay tuned. Hey, hello and welcome to this video. My name is Zachary and I'm going to take a closer look and give my reaction to the brand new 3D printers that Evelsen is going to release within a few moments because this week they are going to release their two 3D printers, the S1 and the T1. Well, the site is very limited, but I'm going to fill in some blanks and informing you what I think about their brand new 3D printers, because there are two versions of it. I'm very curious. If you are thinking that this is going to be a Core XY 3D printer, uh, uh, uh. no, both are just like the other ones, just like that, just like the Super Racer, just like the V400, they are all Delta 3D printers. But in this case, it's going to be a little bit different. Fully enclosed. Let's uh, dive right in the website and see what we can see right on there. Well, and there they are, the S1 and the T1. Both, even though they are fully enclosed, which is good, they are not Core XY 3D printers. There are Delta 3D printers. I know already somebody that uh, really likes Delta 3D printers. I have one. It's an amazing machine. I don't use it that much anymore, but from all the times that I did use it, it's very nice and cool to see how a Delta 3D printer prints. But now, Sun comes by the end of this year, before the year ends, with these two 3D printers, the S1 and the T1. But what is so special about it? First of all, what you can already see here on the page, they are fully enclosed so far as I can see here on the picture. We are going to analyze this picture and also the few little data that I can find on these 3D printers. So one of them is of course speed of the S1 is 1200 millimeters per second. The acceleration is 40,000 millimeters per second square. The flow is 110 millimeters cubed per second and the cooling fan 40,000 RPM. So a very fast blowing fan for your parts cooling because the faster a 3D printer prints, higher the temperature, also meaning that the previous printed layer needs to be cooled as fast as possible or else you will get some failed prints and nobody wants that. Fast and quick printing. For the T1, we have a printing speed of 1,000 millimeters per second. The acceleration is 30 thousand millimeters per second the flow is 80 millimeters per second cubed and the cooling fan is 30,000 rpm just like already mentioned the t1 is the lower version of the s1 we are going to zoom in and see if we can get as much as information as possible let's dive right in first of all the s1 as you can see on the top we have a filament spool this filament spool is fully enclosed i don't know for sure according to this picture if there are two filament spool holders or just one. But on this side, you can already see there is one spool fully enclosed. Further, just like mentioned, it is a Delta 3D printer. You already see one of the axes here, one on the back side, and of course, also one here. Take a look at the image and you see that this, of course, this is a fully enclosed 3D printer. If you scroll right over it, you would say, say like, oh, this is just a normal square high 3D printer. No, it's, it's a Delta 3D printer. It has the same kinematics as the QQS, the Q5 and many other Delta 3D printers from Apple Sun. You know, the thing is with a Delta 3D printer, because all axes need to move in order to move the print head makes that this printer should be very large just like my qqs pro i can go to 300 millimeters in height but that means that the printer needs to be higher as well i don't know if this is just a filament spool there and then that the guides are going further if you're looking very closely here you see one of the attachment points which if you are you know guide your mouse over it you will see that that makes sense that there is are one of the 
rails of course then on the other sides as well maybe here's also a little thing but this can also be a little magnet for the door because the hinges are here and the handle from the door is on that side there just like mentioned this is going to be announced in less than two days so more information is going to follow of course but i already want to inform you well beyond this point because this is a very nice and very futuristic 3d printer we have here a a host kind of attachment i think since you can also see here some white line i think that that is the bowden tube for the filament seeing the whole print head i assume that this is going to be a direct drive extruder and because of the high flow of 110 millimeter cubed per second that this is going to be a high temp hot end system well in here i'm not so very familiar with the v400 looking to this machine it is very obvious that they are using a high flow hot end on this print head checking both i think that this one should be the same because it is in the same series the s1 and the t1 i assume that this one has also the same kind of hot end it could be possible that this one is a little bit less so for example if you can print like 300 degrees c this tree printer the s1 i think like 265 260 270 for the t1 but that is assuming how this would look like so the the screens they are bigger i assume that both are running on clipper say mainsail or fluid or something similar so you will get a clipper kind of screen right on there i see here a little hole for the usb i think here should be one as well Th these are renders maybe they are they are official pictures of the machine but a little bit you know nicer so that it pops more out here has the s1 has an integrated screen just on the bottom just like here the uh, qqs pro the other one has i don't want to make the comparison a reality k1 kind of screen just outside of the 3d printer here on the s1 like mentioned there is a filament spool inside of the machine here on the t1 i don't see one looking to the machines i don't know if it is a perspective kind of thing but i see that the hot ends are most likely equal to the same height so we have here also the rods for the axis and they are kind of similar kind of similar don't hit me in the chat please thank you but this one looks bigger and higher but if this is going all the way up i think like printing a volume is around the uh, 300 times 300 times 300 if we need to check out the v400 has a printing volume of 300 times 300 times 410 millimeter and support up to 300 degrees celsius but this one was 600 millimeters and the the s1 is going to be double the print speed of the v400 so they are really going to raise it they are really going to lift off we shall see what's going to happen let me know what do you think about the Ethelson s1 and t1 let me know in the comments thank you of course if you are interested in buying this 3d printer check out the link in the description where you can find the fl sun s1 and t1 with i don't know the price i think that this price would be around the six seven hundred dollars because the v400 it's around 649 so uh i'm going to aim a little bit higher black friday deal around the, that price but i think like eight nine hundred usd for the s1 and the t1 maybe 5.99 maybe because it is a good number i don't know hey everybody thank you so much for watching you are amazing and you know who is also amazing all the supporters of this youtube channel that support this channel financially every single month the youtube members but also the patron supporters if you also want to do that check out the patreon link in the description of this video or check out the youtube channel member tiers if you don't want to spend any money but still want to support this channel also that is possible subscribe if you are not subscribed and hit the bell to get the latest notifications when i post brand new videos like this video share this video with other people on social media and we will see each other next time peace bye bye